Hello there. Welcome to another edition of Efficiency 365 channel. Let's see one powerful feature of Outlook. It is called Fields. Normally, when we go to any Outlook folder, you see multiple columns. But we can add our own columns if required. Now, why would you want that? Let's take an example. Let's say this is a shared mailbox for help desk. Multiple engineers look at the incoming support issues and whoever looks at the mail first has to handle it. Or there is some supervisor who allocates the mail to each person. Now how do I know which engineer is handling this mail? Many of us try to make an excel sheet or find some method which works outside Outlook. Here is a method which works inside Outlook. Now what I want to do is add a column called engineer name. We know the rules now. If I don't know how to do something, I don't give up, I explore. In this case, I want to explore something about a column. So I go to an existing column heading and right click. And then I look at all the options and then I figure out that most probably this option is going to be useful. Now, what is a field chooser? It shows you all the fields available. By default, it may show you frequently used fields. But we know that engineer name as a field is not going to be there in Outlook. So let's add a new column called engineer name. New engineer name. Of course, this is a text type of column. But let me show you what variety of data types are available here. Of course, there is number and date and so on. But there is a yes, no one which can be a checkbox. There is a duration which is a very intelligent column which understands different ways in which we specify duration like hours, minutes and days. There is a very powerful one called combination which we will cover in another topic, another video. And formula which we will cover a little later. For now, I will use the text field. So now I created a column called engineer name. I need to drag and drop it in the view I want. So now I can see engineer name here. <laughs> Obviously, I would like to make this editable. And unfortunately, by default, anything in inbox is not editable. But that doesn't mean we cannot set it to be editable. How do you do that? Right click on any column heading, go to view settings. What does a view really mean? It means a set of columns and various other formatting options. In this case, we just go to other settings and ask Outlook to allow you to edit in this view itself. That's called in cell editing. And that's it. Now suddenly the engineer name is editable. So I'll just call it E1, and then someone sees another one, D3, and then another one, F4. Like that, I can allocate self-allocate or a supervisor allocates the work to others. While we are here, let's change the scenario. Let's say this is an email ID where resumes are sent for recruitment purpose. It's published on your HR portal. Candidates are going to send their mails here, and there are multiple recruiters working exactly the same scenario we create a text column called recruiter name and allocate the resumes to specific recruiter there is no time wasted in creating a separate excel sheet nor is there any confusion about who is handling that now this is just the starting point i'm sure you must have got more ideas now for example we can create a column called status which is also a text column indicating what is the status of the support call or the phase of recruitment Bottom line, once you know fields are available, you can use them to your advantage and imagination is the only limit. Thank you.